Happy New Year's to you guys, if it really means anything. And as with last year, I'd like to do a year in review of my most notable videos. And as someone who does a video every single day, you know, 365 videos per year, I'm gonna try to keep this around 30. Uh, in reality, it's probably going to be closer to 100. Starting with early January, which was actually where I discovered my liver was overloaded with iron from an imbalanced diet. We have the carnivore diet almost killed me, the iron epidemic, and how to fix iron overload from the carnivore diet, which summarized my story, how iron is a problem in the context of just about everyone's life, as well as how to fix the problem through diet and supplementing. Then I explained the basics of ketosis, which is a great watch for anyone that thinks keto is an end-all be-all way of living. Of course, we can't forget the Andersons being exposed for lying about being carnivore for 20 years, who for some reason seemed to disappear. They were never mentioned again. After I started looking at this video list, it became so hard for me to choose because I feel like nearly every video I do is important. You know, the dangers of grain-fed beef, how to fix thyroid problems, is creatine dangerous, how sugar and omega-6 cause high blood pressure. We spoke about how I had gout after eating honey, the estrogenic effects of grain-fed beef. And now around February is when you know what started, and I started covering various aspects of that, talking how to protect yourself, that it reached New York City. Another very popular question, are omega-3s toxic? We also spoke about omega-6. Very funny parody video <coughs> that the boys should definitely check out. Then the smash hit basically that a vegan diet makes you gay. Around the middle of March, I started really figuring out what was going on uh, with you know what touched on how to fix hormones for both men and women, if fatty liver was the cause of your digestive issues, six month bodybuilding update, and around the end of March, the grocery store shelves were still empty after all of that chaos, and some people were peddling hydroxychloroquine, which I pointed out was poisonous, and <laughs> that did not get too many views to say the least. April comes along, we figured out what was really going on, and the videos were actually removed because they were inappropriate content, basically pointing out that hospitals were empty, everything is planned. Of course, we can't forget all of the nurses and doctors dancing on TikTok, which I made a compilation video of. And there were three videos where I spoke about the intentional targeting of the meat supply, as well as showing some predictive programming in past movies. Then I figured out what was going on with the new Wi-Fi infrastructure, I probably did about 15 videos on that, each of which address very important points of what they're doing. All of those are excellent, especially the Chain in Shackles one, uh, which is some video footage of various movies and documentaries shedding light on you know what. So definitely look through those mid-April to mid-May uploads if you want information on what they're setting up, Verizon, all of these telecom companies. Another video was taken down when I explained the documentary Out of Shadows was fake. The Secret Covenant was interesting because it was online for many, many years and tells the truth about what our leaders have planned for us. And this is when I predicted we would be locked inside for 18 months, despite being only two months in. Uh, but it's honestly looking like longer than that now. We told the truth about the military on Memorial Day, which wasn't too popular of a video. And then the Lives Matter nonsense started, which I covered incredibly well. But the videos that should have gone viral were heavily, heavily suppressed. I mean, I spent $3,000 of my own money paying people to hand out flyers in New York City. You know, definitely go back and watch those videos if you miss them. Uh, but what I know for sure is those people that were out there were definitely paid because not one person like subscribed to my YouTube channel despite handing out thousands, literally thousands of flyers. They just threw them on the ground. And as much as I wanted to cover that because, you know, New York City is basically the center of the world, I decided to go back to the educational videos because those videos were suppressed. Uh, we touched on digestive enzymes, 
why vegetables are dirtier than meat, compared carnivore to keto to paleo, spoke about why cell phones cause diabetes, explained that multivitamins are toxic. One of my favorite top 10 hottest vegan girls of 2020, uh, which I should probably do more than once a year. And now we're around July where we very well know that this whole nonsense you know, was about destroying the middle class, how to heal your gut microbiome, one of my most important educational videos. The audiobook was finally approved in July, spoke about insomnia, explained my food palatability concept, tying that in with the order of satiety. We debunked SECO, calories in, calories out, went over the Randall cycle, animal versus plant protein, keto without a gallbladder, the dangers of aluminum, mineral wheel, collagen supplements, zinc to copper ratio, high protein diet and kidneys, the nutrient density of meat. Overall, just so many excellent health topics that I had been wanting to make for months, if not years. And I think we were around August now, and that was when I had my jaw surgery, and I actually recorded 30 videos before the surgery so that if I had to, I could take a month off. Uh, shortly after that, we launched Nature's Glucose, and then back to some Wi-Fi stuff with you know testing out the Tesla, tanning beds, as well as seeing why people in certain New York City public schools were sick. Back to the education. Are carbohydrates necessary? Best cheeses for vitamin K2? Top pregnancy foods? Six health basics? Magnesium? Organic versus non-organic? And nutrients specific to meat? Now we're in November, which is actually when I quit carnivore and pointed out the plagiarism on the Joe Rogan experience of my research. Uh, two very big things in my life, I guess you could say. Uh, then we covered some more recent events, basically summarizing what the goals are of those in control and how that pertains to what's currently going on in the world. Did a few Thanksgiving recipes. Uh, you guys should definitely check out apple pie, mashed potatoes, and stuffing. Gave ourselves a reason to not eat fish anymore and launched the best bars and there's been a decent focus on Wi-Fi for the past month or so now that we have Wi-Fi shielding. So I tried to point out the educational videos and things you guys really need to know. The more dramatic stuff like the lawsuit, carnivore, ooh wee, drama, vlog style videos such as farm searches, days of eating, uh, the recipe videos, all of the comedic stuff, parodies, making fun of vegans here and there. That is what I skipped. Uh, so if you want the more entertaining stuff, <laughs> that's probably not uh, what I suggested in this video. And if you guys want, I can try to put my videos into several playlists. I don't really know how I should do that. I'm assuming, you know, one for current event and news, one for the educational whiteboard videos, one for recipes. Uh, we do have the EMF and Wi-Fi playlist. I'll see how many people want it and if I can do that you know, based on how this video does. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you have uh, some enjoyable goals in your new year and you're able to kind of phase out all this nonsense that's going on, partially thanks to my YouTube channel. So if you guys could please sign up for the newsletter on frank .com. You can also see all of my businesses on there, uh, but just you know, leave me a comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys for tomorrow's video. Hopefully there's a day I don't have to say that because I'm losing my mind doing this every day. <laughs>